Hello guys! In this video, I would like to explain the meaning and purpose of the SQL join statement. Because of the structure of databases and rules of normalization, tables are constructed in a way to avoid values multiplication. There are two main reasons for such construction. A more efficient use of space and an easier task of updating related values. However, it has been realized with a modicum of computational power. Simply put, we have to combine the expected results set by curing and processing two or more tables. So let's start by looking at the sample tables. As you can see, there are two tables related to each other within keys. We can use keys to enforce integrity rules, for example, to avoid accidental data removal or change. But for now, a relation shows us which columns are common for these two tables. The ANSI standard specifies its four types of joint statements – inner, outer, left and right. In a special case, the join can be executed on the same table and it would be self-join. The most common join type is inner. It's very intuitive and widely used in applications. As a result of inner join, we get a new table as a combination of the column values of the two tables. So you already know how to write a select statement. Now let's write our first join statement. We want to retrieve some information from the sample database and present it in a way everyone can understand. As you can see, information we are interested in is stored in the table cars. However, without the information from the driver's table, there are only numbers. Some of these numbers are related with objects in the driver's table, where we store the driver's full names. OK, so let's find out who drives which car in my sample database. Select asterisk from drivers in a join cars on drivers id car equals cars id car. And what has the SQL engine done? First, the Cartesian product was produced. That means that Every row from the driver's table was matched with every row from the car's table. And then SQL returned every row which satisfied the joint predicate. The predicate was a line started with the on keyword. It says that the row from the table A has to have a match in table B based on the columns specified. In a case of inner join, we often don't write a join close. It's enough to specify tables with commas. We call it an implicit join notation. And of course, our sample analogically is the explicit join notation. Simple, wasn't it? In the next video, we take care of outer join. Have a nice day. Bye.